The documentary Bert's Buzz takes us into the backwoods of Maine where we meet Bert Shavitz, the reclusive and reluctant face behind the global brand Bert's Bees. Joining me now in the Visa Infinite studio is director Jody Shapiro. Jody, welcome. Thank you. You know, the thing I love about documentaries is that there's always a moment where you go, someone should make a movie about this. <laughs> when was that moment for you with Bert? I think there were probably lots of moments. Uh, fortunately, I was able to capture some of them, I think. Um, when, when I first met him and saw this uh, this tiny little 300 square foot shack that he lived in with basically no running water, no hot water tank or whatever, and he was heating everything with the wood stove. And, you know, he's, he's sitting there getting up in the morning, washing his face with this, like, just this bucket. Just uh, I, I just realized that, that like, this is a man that somebody has to has to sort of get to know and and get to understand. And there's a really interesting uh, part of the story, um, you know, that I had never heard before. Uh, you introduced the woman that was in his life. Yeah, well, they well they were considered co-founders, um, and also they were they were in a relationship, uh, but. You know, as Bert said, uh, he, he's an evolutionary, not a revolutionary. He never wanted to change the world. He just wanted to live in it day by day. And I think when he met Roxanne, she saw an opportunity. Uh, she was a brilliant woman. She she captured his image really well. And she, she was a very, very ambitious person to sort of do this. And I think Bert sort of went along for the ride, not really realizing how big it was going to be. And I think at one point it just probably got too big for him. What can we learn from him then? Here was somebody that that really lived the way he believed. Yeah. Plain and simple. He, 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 he didn't need a TV. He doesn't need a phone. He doesn't need, he's got his wood stove. He's got stuff to burn. He's got the land. Uh, you know, he says that all, all a man needed was $38 a month to live. And it's true on his end. Uh, he, he, I think he was, he was heartbroken when, when things didn't work out with Roxanne. And I think that that to him was was more hurtful than losing, you know, lots of money for the company. Money doesn't mean anything to him. The land meant something to him. Being free means something to him. And that's something you just don't, you don't see in a lot of people nowadays. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank and you. thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks for having me. Uh,